Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new animation layer feature with iClone 8 that can be used to manage and arrange your motion layers in a single clip. This allows for a world of new possibilities by storing the data for various iterations in the same clip, giving you much more detailed control over your animations. Let's start with this character on the screen with a sort of sneaky walking animation. We can access the new animation layer window by opening it from the Windows menu at the top. With our motion clip selected, we can see that there are two separate layers shown, the base layer and base motion. The base motion layer contains the raw motion data in this clip, shown here via all the keyframes in the various subtracts of the body. This layer will be locked by default in order to avoid accidentally changing the raw data of the motion. The base layer is where all the tweaks you make to your motion will show up. On this layer, you'll see a checkbox in the conditions column, which allows you to activate or deactivate this particular layer. You can create more of these for specific modifications, which we'll see momentarily. Since there can be multiple layers, you also have the option to color code these for easier organization. This color will correspond to the highlighted area of the clip in the timeline. With our first base layer selected, let's go up to the Edit Motion Layer tool from the Animation menu. Because we have this base layer selected, any modifications we make here will show up in this layer. I'm just going to do a simple edit here by using the E hotkey to enable the rotation gizmo and move both arms up slightly via the shoulder at frame 1. We can see then the character's arms higher throughout the duration of the animation. In the animation layer window, we can now activate or deactivate the box on that particular layer to keep or disable the edit we just made throughout the entire timeline. If you want, you can also remove all of the animation on that particular layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Clear Layer Key. This will get rid of all the key edits on that layer. You can add additional layers into your animation by selecting Add New Layer in your Animation Layer window. I'm naming this one Hand, and I'll do the same edit as before. It's always good to name your layers relevantly for better organization. I can repeat the process with a new torso layer and briefly edit that part of the character while that layer is selected. You can also duplicate your layers as well, like I'm doing here with this torso layer. The duplicated layer will be inactive by default, and it's important to be aware that if you activate it, it will also duplicate the edit you made, so our character's torso will be rotated additionally by the same increment as the original layer. Each additional layer you duplicate and activate will accumulate on top of the previous one. Let's delete that duplicate layer for now and add an additional one where we can rotate our character's torso at different intervals in the timeline for an animated effect. All I'm doing here is a slight rotation of the character's torso every 80 frames or so in order to make it seem like maybe he's balancing on a beam or something. We can play back to see the results when it's done. If you have a lot of layers and you want to isolate a single one quickly, you can hold Ctrl and left click on that layer. This will deactivate all of the other layers so you can see the effect of the solitary layer you have selected. If you're happy with the combined effect of your layers and want to simplify things, you can merge your layers as well. Once you have two or more layers selected, you can use the Merge tool which provides you with two options. If you choose Optimized Merge, iClone will calculate the minimum amount of keys necessary to maintain the current motion effect. However, keep in mind that in some cases, minor details may be lost with this method. If you choose to merge per frame, then the entire timeline will be populated with a key at every frame, which ensures none of your data is lost. However, you'll still have a ton of keyframes to deal with. In this next scenario, I have a number of different animation layers for this guy waving his hand and walking. Here we're going to talk about the weight slider, which determines the strength of the effect each layer has. I can multi-select all of these hand layers and decrease the weight for all of them together, and you can see the effect quite clearly. The weight value can be keyframed on its own track, meaning that you can time the strength at different intervals throughout your animation. As you can see here, I'm setting some weight keys at various points in the timeline to allow my character to transition smoothly from a normal walk to a wave and then back again. This is a very intuitive and easy to use method of customizing a single motion with plenty of options.
the Animation Layer tool can be used to save various styles of the same motion in the same clip. Here you can see the base layer jump of this child. And I have various other styles already saved as different layers. This intuitive new feature with iClone 8 means that you can save dozens of different modifications into the same motion clip for various uses down the road. That's it for this tutorial guys, thanks so much for watching, and be sure to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, as well as stay tuned for other awesome new iClone 8 tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.